<clears throat> We've had this personal relationship with God our whole lives. And when you know it's God and your beliefs are correct and your truths are sorted out, then you remember every time it was God. We've all got the same signature. And he's, he, she, always has the answer for your questions, straight away, and it's loving. For people who've got spirits close to them, you know, I don't know. I've never been very mediumistic. There was one time when sort of felt it and I closed my eyes and I just saw all these people and I just thought that is too much I can't take that so I've been able to shut down to spirit influence and I know these days I've been a bit sort of mixed up but I've had a good experience of different spirit feelings and compared to the feeling of God you know there's nothing there's just nothing like it he can do things in the sky <clears throat> he can sp speak in your head he can give you amazing feelings some harsh feelings as well they feel harsh the negative emotions they need to be felt so that you understand what your soul is. That your soul is this collection of all different emotions. And unless you've felt all the emotions, then you're um, not going to understand your soul and understand that you're not this body or the intellect inside that's part of your spirit body you are you are your soul and your soul is connected to God we are still connected to God because we're in error when we've when we've learnt to learn then then maybe he'll let us fly but that's a long way off so I'm not going to get into that what I want to press upon is we've known God all this time God was with us when we were playing as kids I mean, it's always there anyway. It's just that we block him out. It's like there, right at your right ear and your left ear, enveloped as far as our soul goes. That's where God is. And, um, yeah, you know when it's God. There's just no doubt. So if you have any doubt, but then, you know, over the years when I thought, you know, I felt God, it later on in life, as a sort of, was, you know, after adolescence and stuff, um, it was scary because of the wrong truths that we have. Our soul has um, an intellect. It's the smallest part of the soul. Intellect, humility, which <clears throat> I 
I noticed in some meditation there was a sort of a different feeling as I bent my head in a sense and you know if that may be part of the meditation technique is a straight back for your chakras to line up and maybe you know and other people have said there's something wonky about this throat one which is humility and in a sense you know in the presence of God our soul perhaps should be with that recognition that God is our father and mother everybody else is our equal even if you're the most famous person in the world the richest person in the world living in a hovel living in a shanty town if you're a human being all our souls and whether you're two years old 40 years old or 90 years old all our souls are equal except a 90 year old soul has experienced a bit more than a two year old soul and if you've lived to be 90 you probably doing something right and if you're an angry person you you you're doing you're doing wrong you're doing big wrongs those emotional feelings are what's important and it's those we're denying and we've been suppressing them for so long that it gets harder and harder to to choose to feel them and each different emotion of the soul is is new so you're as reluctant to feel that one as you were the last one even though intellectually you're thinking well I felt these emotions I've gone through them I can feel I can get more of them and you think they might be getting worse and worse but they're all pretty much the same in a sense it's the same resistance or fear or denial most of, most of you, us are in denial complete denial and that is because of the untruths so in my past life in my past life in this life in 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 the past when i've got really close to god and i've been feeling it then i just get really scared i used to just get really scared oh my god that felt strong Oh shit, what's that? And um, then I intellectualize it, so you judge it, you see, which you shouldn't do, you should just feel. You know, even going back into the head, you see, <coughs> is like an addiction. It's like a resistance, an unwant, you know. Um, but once you get used to that, you think, no, I'll just feel it. And, you know, I felt. I felt quite a few different types of fears and one of them was, you know, like, uh, it was just like loads of buzzing and electric things. It just felt, you know, it was a certain weird sort of frequency to the fear. And so I decided to feel it. Now I got through it. And I uh, didn't end up with the men in white coats dragging me off the floor, fainted, nothing like that at all, you know, the complete opposite. And when you're feeling this emotion, you know God wants you to be feeling this emotion. When you're in it, it's like, this is what God wants me to be doing. He wants me to be feeling this emotion. And so you, you, and you have the thought as well, there's absolutely nothing else I'd rather be doing right now than feeling this emotion, even though it's an unpleasant emotion, because you know it's doing you good. You know it's it's enabling you. Yes, it's an ena it's enabling your true self. See, to know your soul. We all have that feeling when we think, oh, we're going to die, and that scared feeling of, I don't want to cease to exist. That's times, that's when you're feeling your soul. And, you know, that thinking about, you know, I exist and forever and I'm alive, and da da da. Great feeling. But that we do, we've done so much, so little with it. You know, it's still a baby. 
still a still a one year old <laughs> in parts it is in parts it's still in the womb and you you know when you feel in these feelings sometimes like like to resist <clears throat> when you get to sort of start feeling your soul and when you do you know you're going to know <clears throat> the, you know there's no doubt i had a sadness one about when I was in junior one at primary school, a real sadness, God, that was, really didn't want to feel it. There was so much of that classroom I was blocking out and I was realizing that I was just in a lot of sadness when I was there. And I didn't accept that I would be in sadness. You know, when you've been happy, you can't, you can't kind of face that you're gonna be in sadness. So for all that time, that you know, I created some sort of facade to to cover that sadness, and therefore wasn't feeling my emotion about it. And I felt that, and I went through it, and it wasn't pleasant. But I've now felt it. I know what to expect. And if I feel a wave of sadness, I'll feel it. Allow the emotions to flow, even if they're not positive, and. It's our choice whether we want to continue creating positive emotions or negative emotions. But we need to feel all the emotions of the soul to know the soul. That is our, the teaching that God wants to teach us about our soul. So these events will come up in our lives that will trigger them. And we try and face, force them out. We're trying to fight God. And we fight God by going into addictions, leaning on people and physical things. And it, you'll know when it's an addiction because you feel that compulsion, a frenzy, oh, I've got to have this. You'll know at that point that you're, there's something you're not facing and it's just an emotional thing. So that is, you know, Brilliant for me at the moment. I'm just glad to be learning. I feel like, you know, I'm on, you know, really onto good new ground. So I will continue. And um, that's my call stop. So thanks. Bye.